In the first chapter of 2 Thessalonians, Paul is encouraging this church through their suffering. And we all know that Paul knew a little bit about persecution. So as he uses this letter to encourage them, we also get a glimpse into what has encouraged him through these times. In this chapter, we can learn how to encourage ourselves and others through times of suffering and persecution. First, take time to praise God for the victories. Paul mentions how their faith has flourished and their love for each other has grown. Then secondly, remember that we are not alone in our suffering. Not only does Paul pray for them, but he shares their story over and over with other churches as he travels. Third, remember that God has not forgotten us. He has a purpose for everything. Jesus said, blessed are the persecuted for they will receive the kingdom of God. And fourth, remember that Jesus is coming back. Not only does he see our suffering, but he sees those who persecute us. And those who are against God will be eternally separated from his glory and power. And finally, Paul shares this prayer with them in verse 11. So we keep on praying for you and asking our God to enable you to live a life worthy of his call. May he give you the power to accomplish all the good things your faith prompts you to do. Then the name of our Lord Jesus Christ will be honored because of the way you live, and you will be honored along with him. This is all made possible because of the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ.